The National Museum of African American History and Culture is the only one of its kind, nationally the only museum to exclusively document African American history and culture. In this museum you have, to this date, over 36,000 artifacts. I couldn't possibly view the entire museum in the time that I had, but this is just an introduction to what I experienced. So West Africa, the continent from which enslaved Africans were brought and transported to the Atlantic world. I mean, in what part wow. of Virginia? My great grandmother was a slave in Buckingham, Virginia. Buckingham. And they may put them up on the right to sell, but she was the master's uh, child. And they wouldn't let them sell. My eyes have borne witness to scenes of depravity worse than I could ever have imagined. For someone who didn't live that, walking through that middle passage, atmosphere, by the way of temperature, by the way of darkness, by the way of music and artifacts, that made the understanding of slavery real. because you have the setup of like a church and it has the picture from that service in Chicago which is jam-packed with people. You can't deny that the things that happened here before I was even thought of triggered a national movement of black people. Those strong people who marched through the streets of Jackson, Mississippi, Hernando, Mississippi, whether they're still living or they're gone, that wants for social justice and change still breeds amongst this state. And that I'm proud of. It was refreshing to see an exhibit that did not define us as excessive or aggressive or challenge our purpose. What it did was it listed us as an elite group. We had the access to education and we used black fraternalism as a way to uplift poor people, uplift oppressed people, uplift women and children, to change the conditions of our communities for decades and decades and decades to come. When you look at the things that these people accomplished with limited resources, limited access, in a time where they were a climate of fear, am I really capitalizing on the conditions that I'm living in? What am I doing? It was motivation to keep going. 